Virtually the only maintenance required on a sprag or cam clutch or brake is proper lubrication. Most units are mounted on horizontal shafts and use oil, but sometimes a grease will be required when the unit is mounted vertically. In either case, use the lubricant specified by the manufacturer. Never use a heavy oil or any lubricant rated for extreme pressure service because it may prevent proper gripping of the sprags or cams and do not overfill. Too much oil will increase drag. Half full is generally enough, especially when speeds are high. Slower operation can tolerate higher fill levels, but again, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Ratchets, sprag clutches, and other positive engagement clutches and brakes do not allow slip. They are either disengaged or they are locked up. However, most clutches and brakes can slip, and this allows them to start and stop load smoothly. Frequently, the slip takes place between dry friction facings and a steel surface. The friction facings are usually non-metallic composition linings, although sometimes metals like brass are used. The steel surface may be either a disc like this or a drum like this. Friction allows a clutch to transmit the torque that accelerates and drives the load, and it allows the brake to slow the load down and stop it. Friction depends on three things. One is the area of the surfaces that are in contact with each other. The larger the friction facing area, the more torque a brake or clutch can transmit. To increase friction, many clutches and brakes may have multiple friction surfaces. Another factor that determines friction is the condition of the contacting surfaces. In most clutches and brakes, these surfaces must remain dry and clean. Moisture or any other contamination can drastically alter the friction and change the performance of the brake or clutch. Friction also depends on the pressure between the friction facings and the steel surfaces. In some clutches and brakes, both the contacting surfaces may move, so the force may have to be applied through a thrust bearing of some kind. Whatever type of bearing is used, it may require maintenance from time to time. Sometimes that will mean lubrication, other times adjustment of components. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. 